Okay, so we poured the resin on Jess's sign, and if you can see around here, I, I think I just had too much clear that I put on there before I put the white. So I'm just going to go back with the dark blue back ocean and um, kind of make that a ring, and then we're going to add the white to it and kind of make it a wave. So here we go. It's going to be a thin one because I still don't want it to come back in here. Here. So again, we're using the total boat, right? Yes. Oh yeah, total boat definitely. Total boat, high performance, two to one. With a slow hardener, by the way, in case we hadn't mentioned that before. I really want that to go over that edge. It is. Yep, good. It will more too as I move it around. Really want it to stay on the edge. So, whoops. And then just throw it around a little bit. That helps. Came down off its pyramid. Yeah, came off its pedestal. All right, I'll get the rest of that here in a minute. I can't see, do I have a lot of resin over there? Mm, yeah, there's some drips. Waste not, want not. Here. I don't want to get my hand in it because I'm running the camera. All right, that's good for now. Still got a little bit more here that I can play with. All right. Okay. So now. So that's the blue. That was the dark blue, which was. Uh, on the scene before, so that's the skyline blue from Eye Candy. I really like this Eye Candy. Okay, so now what I'm going to do because I have a lot of ocean waves on some parts of it, so I'm not going to put it all the way around. It's going to almost give it like a 3D look because it's layered. I don't know where I stopped. Shit. Shoot. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do here. All right. I don't need a pimp towel. We gotta work really hard to keep it away from. Oops. See, I went and did it anyway. I still put too much white. So I'm going to push it off the end. This is kind of just a trial by error. It's there's no real particulars as to, you know, if you're looking to just design and it's just not going to work. Kind of play with it. I want a little more 
Oh wait, or do I? You just don't want it to look uniform like straight lines and I want it to blend. We are going to put a flood coat over this. So anything that doesn't appear even is going to be okay. So, I still see my edges, but not near what they were. Now you still, I'm, this is just an observation on my part, you still have some clear over there in that cup. Well, if you wanted to add some color to it. Yeah, oh, I see what you're saying. Uh, if you wanted, say, some more blue or something, for yeah. the thin spots or whatever. Well, and again, this is not my thing, this is your thing, so. But you've got, uh, well, I don't know, it looks like maybe almost an ounce of clear over there. If you're not going to use that for something else and you need more color. Yeah. Okay, so we will take it from here and let you see when it's done. All right, we're out. All right, so we are moving on with Jess's sign. I uh, like the way the pour came out. What we did was we sanded it down now, not we, Vicky sanded it down so it, it um, has a good adhesion to our flood pour. So now what we got to do is put the crow in place. So I put some pieces of tape there to give me some registration marks of where to glue this thing down. So I'm going to use the Starbond medium with the, the little spouts that they provide, which I really like for little tiny places like that and the accelerator. So I'm hoping I get this in the right spot. This is a little tricky to do, let alone on camera and not try and cover up the camera. So you're good. I really like these little spouts. They work really well. All right. Now the trick is to spray it and set it down in place quickly. It helps when you slam the, the can down. <laughs> Can you tell I was a little anxious about that? I'm hoping that's in the right spot. Looks like it is. I guess that 17 times off camera practicing <laughs> paid off. Yeah. <laughs> you guys think we're just flying off the cuff. We do, pretty much. We, we do, mostly. Not in this case, but anyway. All right, there we go. So let's get that tape off of there. And now we are ready, or we will be. Oh, we got a little piece on there. We will be ready for our flood pour. Right, the last spot, the last piece. Yay. All right, we'll be back. All right, so it is stuck down. We are ready for our pour. It's in pretty solid there. So we've got nine ounces of Total Boat. Again, one of our sponsors. Is that showing up? Yep. Yep. It's upside down. No. <laughs> so thanks again to Starbond and Total Boat. I'm sure I'm not doing this right because I'm not Vicky. <laughs> and Vicky's standing here trying to be patient. Okay, go ahead, jump in. I know you want to. 
Actually, I think I'm doing a pretty good job. <laughs> silence from from <laughs> silence <laughs> from from the expert. This is Vicky's happy place. This is my happy place. I do love this stuff. We've got, looks like we've got plenty. Yeah. Okay, it looks pretty good so far. So what we'll do is if uh, little bubbles, micro bubbles come up, Vicki wants to use the torch. Yes, I've tried the heat gun and I've been using the heat gun, but we just, I see, seem gun. to keep getting better. I don't know, um, a lot of feedback in using uh, just for okay. for getting rid of the so bubbles. You talk about the messes that I make. Look at you. What are you talking about? <laughs> talking about I'm all over, the, I'm, all over the place. Like just on the table, I'm not like on the floor and walls like you. <laughs> on the walls? Yeah, you splatter this stuff everywhere. Anyway. It's part of my character. I need my oh, so torch. you admit it. I need my torch. <laughs> I need to torch you. All right, I'm out of the way. So I just have this little butane torch. It's actually for making. Uh... Yes, yeah, like a chef, a chef's torch, right? We're making creme brulee creme and the brulee. like. Let's get rid of them. There's not That's that many anyway. That's all I'm going to do for now, and then we'll check it later. I think it looks awesome. I'm happy with it. Okay, so we'll come back and show you the finished product when it's all dry. Well, guys, we messed up. We actually were so busy uh, getting ready for our trip to Alaska and trying to wrap up these videos. We had several videos that we had to wrap up that we actually forgot to film a closing on this video. The sign is already, Jess has got it and she loves it and everything, but I can't we don't have it now because we're back from Alaska and we don't have it to take a good video. We do have a, a snapshot of it, so I kind of took a, a close-up snapshot of it. We're super happy with the way it came out. Uh, Jess is happy with it, which is is really the main thing. So, um, sorry guys, I, I really intended to have a really good close-up video of exactly how it turned out. Um, Jess may be doing that, I, I'm not sure, but anyway, uh, thank Thanks again guys for watching. I hope this was uh, helpful for you. I uh, really had fun doing that uh, that different kind of carving with the details on the crow. That was something I just kind of came up with. I may be doing more stuff like that in the future for stuff that has super super fine detail especially if it's black uh, silhouette like that. Anyway, I, I hope that's something that you guys can kind of put in your arsenal, play with it, see how it works out. You could also do different colors, not just black. Anyway, there's all different kinds of things you can do there. Anywho, that is it, guys. Thank you so much. We love you. Um, if you like this video, we'd love it for you. If uh, we'd love for you to share it, uh, if you get a chance, uh, maybe help somebody else out there. There's the website if you need supplies. If you have questions, please email me, eric at makeawoodsign.com. I'm on Instagram every day, makeawoodsign. Soon to be on Pinterest. You guys will see some stuff there. Got lots of things going on. Really exciting projects coming up. So anyway, thanks again, guys. We love you, and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.